Okay, so talking a little bit more about Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, even the minor characters can have very symbolic names. It tells us a lot about their story arcs. So let's look at a couple of those. First up is Arachne, one of the mentors and a childhood friend of Coriolanus. The name Arachne comes from Greek mythology. Arachne was a young woman who boasted publicly that she was a better spinner and weaver than even the goddess Athena. To punish her, the goddess turns her into a spider so that she can spin and weave forever. So this reflects Arachne of the novel. She is arrogant. She likes to be the center of attention. She is a loud mouth and she meets a very sudden unexpected end. Another of the mentors is Livia. Livia was a very powerful person in ancient Rome, very influential woman, married to the emperor, mother of an emperor. And the really interesting thing is that her husband, you know, the Roman emperor, declared that Livia did not have to have a male guardian. She could be in charge of her own affairs, her own money, her own resources. This was very surprising, uh, unprecedented in ancient Roman society. So in the novel, it's mentioned very early on that Livia is from an influential family. Her mother is in charge of a large bank in the capital. So there is the reference uh, to women in finance. Also, the Livia of history, like I said, was a power broker. She was concerned with status. She was concerned with honors. And the Livia of the novel is as well. And of course, it's strongly hinted at in the book that Coriolanus is going to pursue Livia for marriage. So that is another reference to the historical Livia. She became part of this very powerful, very successful marriage. Another mentor is Lysistrata. So Lysistrata is actually the name of a play by the Greek playwright Aristophanes. And in the play, a young woman named Lysistrata has had about enough of the Peloponnesian War. And she decides that she's going to end it. And so she gets all the women of Greece on board with a resourceful plan to end the war. And it works. Look up the play. So Lysistrata of the novel, you can definitely see the references here. She is really not fully on board with the Hunger Games, especially as things go on. She doesn't see a point in Dr. Gall's philosophy of dragging the war out. She wants to see it end. Let's have peace. Let's rebuild. She's also the only one that comes up with the idea of allying her tribute with another tribute. She does not want to encourage the combativeness between the two of them, and she is not a combative person with her fellow mentors. So that is Lysistrata. 